Hi, in this problem we're going to simplify this expression and the directions want us to write it in the form a plus bi. So basically we need to get rid of this negative that's in the square root. So the first thing you want to do in these problems when you have a negative in the square root like this is turn it into an i. So this becomes 3i square root 48. So very first step, always get rid of the negatives inside the square roots. Now you want to think about 48. How do you deal with that? Well, think about what is the largest factor of 48 that's a perfect square. That means what's the largest factor of 48 so that when you take the square root of that factor, you get a whole number. Well, 48 is equal to 16 times 3. So I'll show the step. It's actually 3i square root of 16 times 3. Okay, then you can break it up into two square roots because they're both positive, like this. And then the square root of 16 is 4. This is 3i times 4 times square root of 3. And then 3 times 4 is going to be 12. This is 12i square root of 3. And that would be it. It's in the form a plus bi. You can put the i at the end, like you could do this. But the problem with that is that it's sometimes confusing, right? Look, where's the square root end, right? So it's better to put it there whenever you have a root. Also, you might say a plus bi, where's the a? It's really 0 plus 12i square root of 3. So the 0 is really there. It's the a. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.